Would you like to hear a story, Les? I've got a good one. Did I ever tell you how I came up with the saying? You can't take their faces, but you can take everything else. Yeah? When I was uh, younger, I was so much like the friends who we've stumbled across. I was directionless, adrift. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't have someone there to guide me. Someone there to show me what path I should be on. It was uh, until I met a man named Cheston Stanley. Truly guys, what a man. He was a uh, tall, charismatic. He could tell a joke at a party without anyone leaving. And I hated him. Looking back at it now, I realise this is more about me than it does about him, but I really despised the fellow. Everything people loved about him drove me crazy. He had uh, his face like a Greek statue and similar fan appeal. And like most people I hate, I became best of friends with him. We used to sit up in his apartment. It's quite like this actually. Till all hours drinking. For him drinking wasn't a problem. It was an obligation. We'd uh, talk about all sorts, but really, we talked about nothing. And then he'd pass out. And then one night, I was sitting there, watching him fall into that stupor. He dawned on me. What it was that I hated so much about him. It was his face. His violet skin. And high cheekbones. They corrupted everything he touched. And so, uh, well, I must admit, I got a little bit carried away well, with the drink and everything, but I went to the kitchenette and I got a knife and I carved his face clean off. Poor bastard. I was only halfway through before he knew what was happening. I say he didn't look very happy, but by that stage he couldn't tell. But you know what? Even his screams were impressive. I suppose tomorrow the story is you really can't take their faces after all, huh?